Okay, so uh, we're here doing um, 60 seconds, which is maybe slight, slightly misleading because it's going to probably take a lot longer than 60 <laughs> seconds to uh, answer these questions. But um, we're with Fiona um, from Trading Standards. Uh, and so I've just got a few questions, Fiona. First off, uh, tell us more about Trading Standards Scotland and what it does. Trading Standards Scotland is the national team for trading standards um, and we coordinate activity in relation to national priorities and investigate offences that cross local authority boundaries and we also have responsibility for investigating allegations of illegal money lending in Scotland. Okie dokie. Um, what would you say is the biggest challenge for trading standards nationally? The biggest challenge for trading standards nationally is probably the growing increase in scams that consumers are suffering. Um, across a wide variety of different um, industries um, and the scams, scammers will tend to reach consumers either on the doorstep, over the phone or on the internet and the internet is definitely becoming one of the biggest enabler for those kinds of crimes. Yeah and I suppose with the, the scams thing it's a lot of the time elderly people as well and, and more vulnerable people that Yes, yes, it tends to be, and historically <coughs> the doorstep crime, you know, um, people that operate within that field will deliberately look for houses that they think are occupied by older single people that are more likely to be susceptible to their charms. Yeah. Um, at SESN, um, I'm sure you're probably aware that uh, we do a lot of different sort of training work and things yeah. like that, uh, produce toolkits and things, and one of them is effective partnership working. Mm -hmm. um, so... I'm assuming that you do th think that it's important. <laughs> Why do you think that partnership working uh, is so important these days? We couldn't do the work that we do on our, on our own without working with partners. We're a relatively small team. We're concentrated on the enforcement side, um, but the enforcement's only ever going to work if we look at prevention and advice as well, and we need those partners that are able to deliver those things for us to make the whole thing work across the board. Sure. Uh, and a kind of more general then um, question, why do you think that highlighting the issue of illegal money lending is so important? Obviously, um, between ourselves and uh, Trading Standards Scotland, we'll be putting on a, a thematic event on this shortly. So, uh, yeah, just why do you think that it's so crucial to highlight that? Yeah, it, the, we've always had an issue with illegal money lending, and it tends to be a fairly hidden crime. People are very reluctant to report illegal money lenders um, for a variety of reasons mainly um, because they're scared, but also because that's their, often their only source of credit. Um, so it's very important that we bring it to the attention of the people that are in contact with people that are likely to be victims so that they're aware of the signs to look for. Um, it's a particularly pernicious crime. Um, <coughs> it means that people you know, often um, have to prioritise making repayments to an illegal money lender rather than heating their house or buying food. So the more that we can do to identify those illegal lenders, the better, but also, and I think maybe more importantly, the more we can do to identify people that are about to fall into the gap where they feel that they need to use an illegal lender um, so that we can put interventions in place that stop that happening. Uh, this isn't on my list, but I'll, I'll ask you, uh, as soon as you sort of went into uh, some of those things a little bit, uh, just in the office, we were sort of discussing um, potential questions to ask people about their uh -huh. awareness of uh, yeah. illegal money lending, and when we were uh, putting out con or formulating content, uh, we were calling it money money lending at first, mm -hmm. uh, rather than illegal money lending, yeah. uh, and it was that thing of we were oh have to make sure that people know the difference because that yeah. is one of the problems uh, yeah. a little bit that people maybe don't know don't exactly what yeah. they do. So just could you maybe. Yeah, so there's a regulatory framework that allows people to lend money. So in order to lend money legally, you need to have an authorisation from the Financial Conduct Authority. And that means that you have to pass a variety of checks to make sure you're a suitable person to be lending money. Um, obviously, because you are being put in a position of, of power and control over consumers there. So there's a number of steps that you have to, and authorisations you need to pass before you can do that. And then, then that also means that you're subject to regular checking and monitoring to make sure you're providing the appropriate information and using the appropriate paperwork, that consumers can make informed choices before they enter into a credit agreement. An illegal lender uh, won't have any of those authorisations. Very often they won't provide any information to consumers before arranging a loan. Um, they won't provide any information <clears throat> sorry, during the course of the repayment of the loan um, and you know the, the, there will be no paperwork. Um, illegal lenders will charge what they want, when they want um, and there'll be no controls on that either. Okay. Uh, and the final question is uh, slightly more frivolous and that, that is, what is your favourite film? What is my favourite film? 
Oh. It's a very out of left field. So, so many. The, the one that actually immediately comes to mind today, and it will change on a day to day basis, <laughs> is probably the Big Lebowski. But I'm also a big um, Saturday Night Fever fan. I'm a big fan of Jeff Bridges as well. So yeah, <laughs> Big Lebowski is a great movie. Okay, well, uh, thanks very much for that, Fiona, uh, and we'll look forward to the event uh, yes, coming so up I. shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thanks.